How's it going everyone and welcome to Warcraft Orcs and Humans Orc Campaign and the very last level of the Orc Campaign, level 12. So in this level we finally get to storm and destroy Stormwind Keep. Now this level may sound difficult because it is the last level, but actually it it's it's pretty damn easy because especially since demons have already been researched and upgraded for you, so you save a lot of gold by you know not having to research that. So uh, it's going to be straightforward. You, in order to beat this level effectively, you're going to primarily make use of demons. Like the previous level, be careful of invisible units, water elementals, and you have to siege three bases. So let's get to it, shall we? Keep. Stormwind Keep is ours to take. The Orcish Hordes gather like buzzards to carry it, as the moment of destiny is close at hand. A low growl fills the air as your wolf riders whip their savage mounts into a frenzy. The earth shakes as catapults are loaded and moved into position. The fires of the burning rubble about you dance in your eyes as you gaze upon the pristine white towers of Castle Stormwind. White that will soon be washed with the red of King Lane's blood. With his fall, all of Azeroth will be yours! And so it shall be. Let's get to it. Now, as I said, the most effective way to go about completing this level is to just make demons. You can you can try going for the alternative route and you know making it incredibly difficult for yourself to siege each base using uh, 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 some of the weaker units, but. It's not very cost effective, unfortunately, so I won't recommend it. But you're more than welcome to try should you give this a shot. Now, like before, they've got their own water elementals to deal with, but luckily, like I said, we've got demons. So, as always, explore the fog of war. We need to. I don't think there are units stationed here. The bases. Okay, perhaps they are. Oh not, no no no, that's 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 just uh good. And of course they will target the catapult first. Don't blame them, it's it's just annoying that's all. Come on, demon. Oh, shit. Now that is a major problem. Okay, so in order to sort out a problem like that, I'm gonna have to get my tower and blacksmith and everything up and running as well as possible. Motherfucker! Safety, it's also going to be a good idea to station my warlocks on it at a different position. Losing a warlock at this level is. Yeah, it, it's one of the worst things that can happen to you. So don't, don't lose your warlocks. <laughs>
Okay, so the basics for this level is pretty much sorted out. I don't have to my upgrade yet. Keep your resource income as high as you can for in case you do lose uh, a unit like Warlock. Effective idea to place your spearmen here as they target your gold mine harvesters. After that upgrade is complete, let them come. Let them come. to upgrade that. So basically once I've got my 8th Warlock, I'm going to spawn one lot, as soon as they die, spawn the other lot, so we're going to go about until they are defeated. That's how simple it is to beat this level. Quick and effective.
and you're already assaulting the first base. That's how amazingly powerful these demons are. It's, it's madness, isn't it? Unbalanced part of this game. Well, I don't think this game was ever supposed to be balanced. summoning a lot of demons before you finally break them. But we've got many to make use of, so it's not good. Oh. that happen? Or not. in order to make the walking distance a lot less and resulting in your demons lasting a whole lot longer as well and look at the amount of resources we've got
building it immediately activates them to go in full force. Normally that's a very bad thing, but in a case like this, I don't see why we can't afford a little Yep, it worked. Wonderful. And there's the storm wind key. And this is it, everyone. The level is over. From here on, it's straightforward. We're just gonna destroy stuff. wraps up the Orc campaign for Warcraft 1 Orcs and Humans. Thank you very much for everyone for watching these videos and giving your support. As always, it's highly appreciated. And uh, if you did enjoy this, stay tuned for the Human campaign that will be following shortly after this one. Keep well everyone. Bye bye. If only these worthless humans could fight as well as they die. With the decimation of the human forces, the sacking of their castle was a simple matter. They offered little resistance once you ran their weak leader through with your warblade and toppled his body into the moat. The taking of Stormwind has kept your warriors in good spirits, and the offerings of gold and jewels that they bring to you are ample tribute to your leadership. Wine flows like blood, and the smell of freshly cooked meat fills you with satisfaction as you begin your victory feast. The countryside is ablaze with bonfires as groups of battle-hardened orcs celebrate the domination of this land with songs of war and victory. You have finally assumed your rightful place as ruler of this realm and as war chief of the orcish clans. What new conquests will await you in this place? The Shadow Council has begun to bring you information concerning the lands across the Great Sea that are as yet untouched by Orcish rule. The Warlocks also seek your permission to resume their experiments with the portal, their intent being the subjugation of other worlds. With the power you now possess, your choices are limitless, but these are choices for another time.